from around the globe, it's theCUBE, with digital coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. Special coverage sponsored by AWS Global Partner Network. Hello and welcome to theCUBE Virtual with our special coverage of AWS reInvent 2020 with additional special coverage of APN Partner Experience. We are theCUBE Virtual and I'm your host, Justin Warren. And today I'm joined by Angelos Kodas, who is Vice President of Product Marketing at Elastic. And he comes to us from San Francisco. Angelos, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, Justin, a pleasure to join you. It's great to have you here. Now, I've, I've been a big fan of Elastic for a while, have used your products in a, in a variety of circumstances. Um, you're big partners of AWS and, and have uh, seen quite a bit of change over the last couple of years. We, we were talking just before we came on air. Um, maybe you could talk us through what Elastic is doing with AWS and uh, a little bit about those changes that you've seen over the Absolutely. last little period. Sounds good, Justin. So first of all, uh, many people know Elastic as the, the makers of Elasticsearch, one of the most popular open source search engines. And uh, along with Elasticsearch, we have Kibana and Beats and Logstash, and many people know us as the Elk stack, right? And so clearly we have roots in the open source community and people have used us for custom applications for years and years. Um, one of the key changes over the last few years is that we realized that many customers we're doing some of the same things with Elastic. So we said, what if we really focus on end-to-end -end experiences for our three core use cases? Uh, and so we, we chose three use cases and built solutions around them. One is enterprise search, right? Which is how do you find information on your website, in your application, or in your workspace? Uh, the second is observability. So think about software development, software in every industry. What about DevOps? What about performance? What about consistency? Uh, and last but not least, especially, you know, with some of the current uh, transitions in digital transformation, think about security. Think about your network security, your endpoint security, and how you have visibility across your, your entire IT ecosystem. So we've chosen those three solution areas and put significant engineering into building out that experience. How quickly can we deliver value? How um, pre-built can the configuration be, the integrations be, the workflow, the reporting and the dashboards around those use cases? Um, the last piece, which is very relevant for, for reInvent, is the transition to cloud, right? So we still offer uh, downloadable software and many of our customers and, and, and users download the Elastic Stack and deploy it on-prem in hybrid cloud environments. But one of the fastest growing deployment models is in the public cloud. And of course, Elastic Cloud on AWS is one of our major uh, routes to market. Uh, happy to meet many of our customers where they are, which is on AWS. And it's great to be have that able to have that choice. I think uh, that people can download the software, try it, get it, get comfortable with it. But then people often find that actually running software yourself, there's quite a lot of work involved in doing that. I know that I I've experienced that myself. Uh, just little things like maintenance and and so on. So it sounds like you're actually taking care of a lot of that for customers if they move to the cloud service. But is there anything else special about the cloud service that customers might not be that aware of? Well, uh, I mean, choice is a big part of it. And so it's not just, do I choose cloud? It's where in cloud. So we've actually, we now run Elastic Cloud in over 40 uh, regions around the world. Uh, so we can be close to you in terms of latency and in terms of performance, in terms of data sovereignty, we can be local to your environment. Um, the other aspect, it's not just how we simplify deploying Elastic. You know, clearly we architect it, we uh, install it, deploy it and upgrade it for you but also we have focused quite a bit on integrating cloud data sources. So with AWS as an example, we look at all of the applications and data sources that you host on AWS, and we think about how do we get those data streams, how do we get that data directly integrated into Elastic. Um, one final piece actually, which I, I forget sometimes, it's not the technical side, it's the business side, is the commercial integration, right? So we are, you know, very uh, happy to, to, to be listed on the AWS marketplace. We've made it easy for you to find, deploy, and actually build through your AWS commercial agreements via the, the marketplace integration. 
Right, so easy to get started and, and to start using it. And uh, and search is certainly something that Elastic is famous for. But uh, you mentioned observability there. A uh, bit of a question I, I have around observability. Is it, is that just a fancy way of saying monitoring? There's, there seems to be this, this buzzword around the place. So what do yeah, you mean when you say yeah. observability? So one of the, the key foundational principles of the Elastic observability solution is that, you know, you want a unified uh, data uh, database, uh, a unified place to store all of that data. So it is stretching across logs, metrics, application traces. It's bringing together a common platform that lets you look at different aspects of observability. So whether you're doing end-to-end -end application traces or whether you're just collecting infrastructure logs and looking at performance metrics, uh, it's kind of across the board. Uh, even looking at things in our most recent release that just came out last week, you know, expanding on user experience monitoring and synthetics. So you can optimize web interactions and web experiences, for example. Right, okay. So there, there's a bunch of different types of data that, that are involved there. Um, I know it, traditionally people would, would silo those off into a specific customized thing just for that particular type of workload. What is it about Elastic that, that means that you can put all of this in one place? Yeah. Um, you know, one of the one of the early catchphrases for what does Elastic do? What do we focus on? The value we deliver is speed, scale, and relevance. Uh, and so, one of the things that is famous about the Elastic way of doing things is the way in which we index data on ingest, and so that you can get search queries that return within milliseconds. Uh, and so, that performance characteristics. A second one is scale, and this is actually really key not just for observability, but right next to observability, you get security as well. We like to say, if you're gonna observe, you might as well protect as well. So when you expand to that universe, you have not just hundreds of devices, you might have thousands or tens of thousands of devices that you are ingesting information, whether it's operational data, whether it's security data. So scale becomes extremely significant. How can you scale horizontally and vertically and maintain that performance even when you are at you know, a Fortune 500 scale infrastructure? Um, the last piece is relevance. And so, you know, that data, it's not just about knowing what to look for, it's about using things like machine learning and anomaly detection to uncover unusual patterns of behavior and proactively alerting and making that visible through notifications and through alerts that can actually integrate not just with your Elastic operations, but actually with third-party software. Maybe you want to trigger a ServiceNow ticket or uh, you know a Slack integration, and all of that is part of the, the Elastic platform as well. Right, okay, so by putting everything kind of in one one place that is around what you're talking about, so we have enterprise search in there to be able to find things, we're collecting all of the data that we need to find things, and then you touched on security at the beginning and we're starting to talk around security there, so I, I'm keen to move on to that. <laughs> by by looking at all of these uh, these different these signals, uh, we can hopefully then manage some of the security, which I know is very much front of mind for everyone over the last year, uh, cybersecurity has very much come to the forefront of everyone's thinking. Absolutely. And, you know, we've been on the network side of security for some time. So we've had our SIM solution, you know, security uh, information event monitoring. Um, but we made a very strategic acquisition uh, a little over a year ago. We saw that a critical piece of visibility is also the endpoint. Uh, and so we partnered with Endgame and eventually we acquired Endgame uh, to create end-to-end -end visibility on that security. So it is being able to connect, you know, the path of data from your servers and network devices all the way to the endpoints. Uh, and a, a, an example of the power of this unified architecture is the, the new Elastic Agent that we introduced in beta a couple of months ago. We said, what if we had a single deployment that both does endpoint protection and does malware scanning of your endpoint devices while also ingesting data into your observability systems. Uh, and so that's kind of the power of the platform, the ability to use common infrastructure, common uh, integrations, so that every use case you adopt on top of Elastic, it sort of multiplies the value you're getting from, from using Elastic as, as, as an infrastructure player. All right. That's, so you're combining a couple of different things into the one tool that you can use. I, I know SciSize, so who I've spoken to, uh, are quite concerned about the proliferation of tools that they have in their environment. It, it seems that they've they've bought lots of lots of different things, but a lot of them are kind of sitting in a drawer, not really being used. And and partly it's just we we have so many different ways of dealing with these issues. None of it's really flushed out, or sorry, has been fully fleshed out that we we definitely know this is the one true way to solve this. 
So what are you hearing from customers as they start to use these security functions? What are they telling you about the way that they're managing security in their environments? Well, you know, we think about a few different uh, personas in the security market, right? We think about threat hunters, for example, who are looking to identify threats. We're looking at the operations team that do the cleanup, that do the, um, you know, the the resolution of security threats. Um, and we also, so there's, a, you know, there's there's two competing terms in the security market. We have security operations. In the observability world, we have DevOps. Right and and developer, you know, the, the 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 continuum of developer and deployment into a DevOps role, and so we're starting to see this concept of DevSecOps. Right, what if there is a unified set? And it's not it's not all things to all people. And that's an important thing, right? We're not trying to be your single security vendor for all IT security needs, but instead we're saying, what if you had a, a security operations analyst? a threat hunter, uh, an executive, a CISO who's looking for, you know, uh, uh, an overall level of threat or compliance to policy. Uh, and you can bring those experiences together through the Elastic Security Solution. Right, so it sounds like you, you're trying to allow people to work in the way that they need to, providing them the tools that that suit their particular circumstances. That's right, that's right. And I mean, in terms of how do you define success? You look at metrics like mean time to resolution. You know, can we reduce the mean time to resolution? Or you look at log collection and how much more efficiently can you collect logs? You look at asset monitoring and what percentage of your IT infrastructure you actually have unified visibility into. You know, we have one great cloud customer, OLX Group. They are a popular online marketplace, you know, and they quoted to us that they had a 1900% increase in log collection right, in terms of scope of what they are collecting logs on. They reduced that MTTR by 30% for security incidents, so dramatically streamlined and shortened the exposure. And then they increased asset monitoring by 35% across cloud as well as on-prem. And I think that's the other piece is that, you know, whether you deploy your security in the cloud or on-prem, you are looking to secure your hybrid environment. And so being able to take data feeds from your SaaS partners, from your infrastructure running on AWS, as well as from those endpoint devices. Well, it sounds like there's plenty of scope of, of interesting things for people to come and have a look at it at Elastic. So Angelus, thank you so much for joining us here. Um, please, thank you to my guest, Angelus Cottis, Vice President of Product Marketing at Elastic. You've been watching the Cube Virtual and our coverage of AWS reInvent 2020 with special coverage of APN Partner Experience. Make sure you check out all our coverage on your desktop, laptop, or on your phone, wherever you are. I've been your host, Justin Warren, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.